Hello Polkadot community. In this video, we'll go over why you should stake Polkadot, some key staking facts to keep in mind when delegating DOT, and how to stake DOT using the native self-custody staking dashboard from Polkadot. If you don't know what staking is, you can find a link to our what is staking video in the description below. You can also find chapters to help you jump around the video as needed, along with links to everything mentioned in this video. So why stake Polkadot? Well, initially, DOT is being staked to earn new token issuances, meaning that the supply of DOT will increase and stakers will capture these newly issued DOT. Not staking on inflationary chains like Polkadot could lead to principal erosion. At the same time, staking is dollar cost averaging every day for free. On top of new token issuances, DOT stakers will capture fees from the network transactions, and as Polkadot transaction volume increases, so will the rewards for staking DOT. Staking DOT gives you ownership of the Polkadot network, making DOT stakers entitled to setting and changing the rules of the Polkadot protocol, along with deciding how to distribute treasury funds. This is all done through governance, and the amount of DOT you have staked is your voting power. There's tremendous value in having ownership of and a voice in the direction of a protocol. Now that we know a little bit more about why DOT, let's take a look at some key staking facts to keep in mind when delegating your DOT. DOT is locked while staked and takes 28 days to become liquid again once unbonded. You do not earn rewards during this unbonding period. There is slashing for misbehaving validators, and delegated assets are at risk of slashing, so it's a good idea to make sure you pick a validator wisely. For these reasons, I personally delegate to figment validators. Rewards are distributed every era, which is about 24 hours, and they need to be restaked to compound. There is a minimum of 10 DOT needed to nominate a delegation to a validator, and there's also a minimum of about 139 DOT needed to stake. This is dynamic, and Polkadot is working on ways to lower this minimum. Now that we know why DOT, let's take a look at how to stake DOT with the native self-custody Polkadot.js wallet and the all-new staking dashboard. Let's start by visiting Polkadot.js to get started. So our first step is to get our extension and we can go here by clicking on extension, download for Chrome and download for Firefox, whichever you have. And then once you have your extension set up, so we can open this up and we can see that we have two accounts. When you first make it, you are going to have no accounts in here and we can go ahead and click plus, create new account. Now here's where you will see your 12 word mnemonic seed. This is the only time, I want to reiterate this again, this is the only time you will see this key. This key can be used to recreate your wallet if you lose access. You never want to share this key with anyone. Anyone who has access to this key can access your wallet. It's a good idea to write it down and store it safely offline in multiple places only you know. If you'd like to learn more about safely and securely storing your seed phrases and private keys, check out our What is Custody video linked in the description. So if you just go, I have saved my mnemonic, kept it safely, next step, add a descriptive name for your account. So the first one we want to do is a stash account and you can do stash, whatever, 22, okay? And then uh, do a password and make sure it's good. And then we can go add the account with the generated seed. Now, when we go back here to stash 22, there is no way to see the mnemonic seed again. So if you didn't do it properly or you didn't store it properly, you're SOL. So make sure you really do write it down, double check it, write it down somewhere else, copy paste it, save it, put it on a thumb drive, something. The next step after we have secured the key for that account is gonna be to make another account. We're gonna create a new account. We're gonna save our seed phrase wisely. Go to next step. And this one, we'll, we'll call this one the controller account. Password again and generate. Now we have our controller account and our stash account. Our stash account is where we're gonna to wanna to keep all of our dot at. If you already have a dot account on polkadot.js or in your extension, you can go ahead and just name it stash, whatever, just so that you know that that is your stash account. Now I've already done this with my stash and my controller, so I don't need these two accounts. So we can go ahead and forget account so that I do not accidentally send funds to one I have not written down the seeds for, and we will forget get that account. So now we have our two accounts set up. Now we can go to the app, polkadot.js app, this one right here. And this will open up right here. And then we can click on accounts and go to accounts. You can also add your accounts right here if you want to make them inside of polkadot.js. But we can see the two I have here. 
Now, Polkadot does have this thing where you need one dot in your wallet in order for it to stay active and not get cleaned up. But we also know that we need, in order to nominate from our controller account, we're gonna need 10 dot in here. So that's gonna be the next step. So we can come here and we can go send. We're coming from the stash account and we want to send it to the controller account and we want to send it 11 just so we have plenty in there. Um, and this is the account that we'll be claiming and interacting with the staking for us. This is a extra level of security where we're never exposing the keys of our stash account anywhere online. We're only using the controller account, which is an awesome level of security there that I really appreciate Polkadot doing. They're, they're almost forcing you to be extra secure. So we'll go ahead and make the transfer. We will sign and submit. Extension here will pop up. We can review and then we can input our password. And there we go, now it's through. And now we're all set up and ready to stake. So now we can go to staking.polkadot.network. And under here, we can go to the all new staking dashboard. So our first time getting here, it'll look like this. It'll be completely blank and we'll go connect wallet, and we'll wanna connect our stash account. So now we have our stash dots connected. We can go to stake. From this dashboard, we'll click start staking. So here we will set our controller account, that's the first step, and we have it easy for us because we've labeled, labeled them. We'll click continue. Now the reward destination. Do we want to automatically bonded to your existing bonded balance? You couldn't do this before. So this is something that's really cool and unique to the staking dashboard and why I'm really excited about it. And we have three options here. We can automatically compound, we can send it to the stash account, or we can send it to the controller account. Personally, myself, auto compounding is the way to go. We'll go continue. So our next step is to nominate our validators. There's two ways to do it. It'll randomly generate 16 for you by clicking the star button, and then you can choose from your favorites. Otherwise, no other validators pop up here. So we can go under the validator tab, we can click validators, and then here we can go, we want to exclude inactive validators, we want to exclude oversubscribed, 100% commissions, blocked nominations, missing identity. So we'll go control F and figment. And there's one of them and there's the other one. So then once you've favorited your validators, we can go back to the stake tab and from favorites, we can select. So we will select both of them and then we will hit continue. So right now we can see our status is inactive. Our nominator wallet is our controller wallet is 10 dot for that and we have met that so that's why we can get here otherwise when you go to the top if you don't have the 10 dot in your controller account it'll say you don't have enough dot so here's the active number that we need this is basically the amount of dot needed to be actively nominating in the era being above this metric simply guarantees that you will be present in the active nominator set for the era this amount still does not guarantee rewards as your active nominations may still be oversubscribed. Only the top 256 nominators are rewarded per validator in Polkadot. Ensuring your active bond is above this threshold will increase your chance of rewards. You can keep track of these metrics from the dashboard and amend your staking position if necessary, whether increasing your bonded dot or changing your nominations. So because we're restaking, we're actively compounding, this, uh, this number will go up, so we will keep moving up in our ranks. Let's go ahead and click continue. Now we will get a summary. All right, let's start staking. Once again, our extension pops up. Let's make sure everything is right. Looks good. Let's enter our password and sign the transaction. Yay, finalized, successful. Congratulations, you've just staked DOT. How easy was that? In case you missed it, be sure to check out our videos in the What Dat series. These videos include a breakdown of Web3, staking, ETH2, and custody. You can find links to these videos and more in the description below. Make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date on all things Figment. At Figment, we're on a journey to create a truly decentralized internet. 
where users can freely interact, share, collaborate, and exchange goods and services in a trustless environment. To help deliver that vision, we offer staking, middleware, and application layer solutions for token holders and developers investing in and building on Web3 technologies. We're on a journey to build a better internet, keeping privacy, data ownership, transparency, and censorship resistance top of mind. Our mission is to make it simpler for token holders, developers, and other network participants to use, build, and govern blockchains. Our custodial partners will give you peace of mind by safely and seamlessly securing your tokens in a compliant way while still giving you the ability to generate staking rewards and participate in network governance. If you're interested in learning more about Figment or our services, you can find all the relevant links in the description below or at figment.io. Thank you for watching, and if you found this video valuable, make sure to share it with a friend. As always, if you have any questions about staking or how Figment simplifies blockchain for you or your organization, you can join Staking Hub with the link in the description. I look forward to seeing you there, and until next time, happy staking.